what is going down my people what is going down long time no see uh, i made you guys a promise a long time ago when i jumped on uh, youtube here that i wouldn't be doing videos just to be doing videos um so uh kind of stepped away uh when i saw some fuckery in the market there ain't no reason to be on here and talking to you guys about stuff you're getting fucked in um because i was getting fucked too um, I'm on here today because the big Puerto Rican asked me to throw a video up uh, about some tech that you may or may not need for um, your crypto, your different coins and stuff like that. Um, congrats to all y'all that um, are holders of XRP with that decision today. Um, most of you guys probably know how to secure your shit properly, but uh, we're going to walk through that today with uh, a little bit of technology to help you guys secure uh, your hard-earned money that you guys have put into the different coins, whether it be XRP, XLM, XDC, uh, Bitcoin, so on and so forth. Um, first off, I'm gonna start this out with, I am not endorsed in any way, shape or form by Ledger, Ledger Nano, Uphold, or any other service. You guys may be able to, um, within your circle of friends and, and um, people within your your crypto circles may be able to develop um some kind of uh link for uh friend referrals and stuff like that it may benefit you guys especially you guys that are out there in the discord uh huge shout out to all the 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 family in the discord greg and dakota and all those guys so uh, uh you guys may be able to work uh, something out for uh refer a friend be able to get people discounts on stuff like that so uh the tech we're going to be talking about today is going to be the uh, ledger nano x this one is new, and this one is currently in use. Um, also, when I refer to a Faraday bag, this is what I'm going to be referring to. There's a bunch of different brands that you can use. What I will tell you is anything that you choose to use, make sure you test it. And the way to test it is to take uh, some kind of an electronic device. Um, say a, a cell phone or another cell phone, throw a cell phone into it, call it. If a missed call shows up on your phone inside that Faraday bag, probably not a good product. Uh, zero transmission in or out. So make a phone call on that phone, put it in the Faraday bag, seal it up, and see if it's transmitting that phone call out. So uh, they're widely used in a bunch of different fields. Um, I've used them in law enforcement in order to secure different electronics that I don't want any uh, tampering of evidence electronically, so on and so forth. So we're using that today to secure your uh, crypto wallets. And we shouldn't even really call them crypto wallets. You can call them crypto wallets. So you've got the Ledger Nano X. Has Bluetooth capabilities, which is why you use the Faraday bag. Um, when you guys order these, if you guys choose to order them, you can get them directly from Ledger. You can get them on Amazon. What you're looking for is for it to be sealed. You want to get it from a credible vendor. Um, if you get your Nano and the plastic is um, not in place, do not use it. Um, if you get your Nano and you open it up and the, the little card inside already has keys written on it, do not use it. It is compromised. 100%. You load your fucking coins onto that, you are going to lose them. So um, you get your Nano, you open it up. Uh, typically, you got to charge it and turn it on with the little buttons. These are buttons here. Um, it's got the, uh, the cords that come with them. And then when you're setting up your Nano, you're going to have to write down all of your security keys. This does not store your coin. It's not like you walk around and you go, all my crypto coin is right here. It's not. This is not storing your coin. This is storing the security keys that are required for you to transact with your coin. So as long as that's cleared up, I don't want people thinking that they're, they're buying these to throw their crypto on their coin. Uh, when you are taking down your security keys from your Ledger Nano, you are going to be writing them down. There are several ways to secure those. Write them on paper. Some people are, are uh, putting them on something that are a little more finite where you can use. Um, I'm not, I can't even go into that because that would take forever in a day. Um, but you can have uh, your keys etched on uh, certain kinds of metal where fire can 
uh, affect them, stuff like that. You, when, so when you secure them and throw them into a fireproof safe, even if the safe burns, your keys are still safe. Um, we can do that in a different video altogether. But you are going to write down those keys, and that needs to be secured, just like your Nano. This is electronic of what you're writing down, because in order to use your Ledger Live or similar application, uh, Ledger runs the tech uh, in order to use your Ledger Live to be able to transact. You can buy all you want. What you can't do is sell any of that crypto without the keys that you have either written down or secured on your, your Nano. So you always want to have a second um, set up for that. Um, so when you... Uh, You'll go onto your smartphone, whether it's going to be the Android or iOS with the uh, the iPhone. Uh, if you're not running a VPN or don't know what a VPN is, you're <laughs> you're a step behind. So you're going to need to figure out um, how to run a VPN, or in order to do it safely, do not sit in a fucking Starbucks or any other public Wi-Fi when you are running this. Always access any of your your financial accounts. Uh, especially involving crypto through a uh, secure uh, Wi-Fi setup, whether it's at your house, so on and so forth. You guys figure, you guys got it. VPN is the safest way to do it when you're running a mobile VPN. There's several ways and uh, vendors to be able to do that. The VPN is definitely going to be your, your safest bet because you don't have any outside eyes on what you're doing. And you can do it securely. You definitely want to be setting your Nano up in an environment where it's only you because you're going to be looking down looking at and writing down sensitive information that is very detrimental to your financial security both now and in the future because once those keys are uh compromised any coin that is connected to them whether it be xrp xlm xcd or bitcoin are going to be uh compromised as well and you don't want to make um massive gains life-changing gains in any of these coins and um have that taken from you so you notice how i don't i'm not relating coins to money because money is exponential at this point it doesn't even matter because we all view uh currency and money in the realm of the u.s dollar which is soon to be fucking non-existent it's going to be shit it's it, <laughs> you're not going to be able to relate anything to anything financially of um dollar value so uh It'll be a learning curve for everybody moving forward and uh, how we establish value, especially when it comes to these coins. So if you hear people talking about um, numbers when it comes to dealing with crypto coins and so on and so forth, you have a purchase value, but that is not the value of the coin. Let's be honest. It's not the value of the coin. The value of the coin is going to be exponentially far greater than it is currently. Um, uh, some coins are stable coins some coins are shit coins you have to know the difference don't just buy into a coin because you heard some uh influencer tell you it's the latest and the greatest because it's not necessarily the case um uh, crypto coins should serve a purpose it should have a function in the financial systems that are being developed now or moving into the future so if you can't establish a connection with what that that coin is going to be used for you probably should stay the fuck away from it and educate yourself a little bit more um Lou's been putting out a lot of good information. I know a lot of you guys, you have a good time listening to him talk shit. I mean, he's my brother. So um, every day we're on the phone, we're talking about different stuff. But uh, crypto is very serious. We have a huge ruling today with XRP um, and the Ripple Network. Um, it's not a security. If you guys don't understand what that means, you guys need to look into it and what the tax rep, uh, the, the, the tax um, responsibilities are when it comes to dealing with securities and when it comes to dealing with not securities, um, it's, it's a huge win for us. Um, so the bump you guys are seeing today with uh, XRP is is uh, good. It's a positive step in the right direction. It's getting a lot of people excited, but understand that's just gonna be some of these smaller brokers that are adding the coin back to availability for their customers here in the US. Uh, we're looking for much larger, much more exciting movement as we come up to the 20th when uh, Fed now heads into uh, international waters with um, their system. And then next month when BRICS releases their gold back um, digital currencies as well, because they're gonna be operating on the Ripple network using the XOP, XLM, XCD, and some other ones. XCD, you know, you guys have already heard the, the, uh, 
the rift on that being almost like an Ethereum uh, with Wall Street's coin. So I tend to stay away from that a little bit. I'm sure it serves its purpose, just really not in my wallet. So uh, tread softly, understand your risk, and um, make sure that you guys know what you're getting into before your balls deep in it. Because sometimes when you get into stuff, it takes time to get out of it. Uh, XRP seems to be the one right now that is going to cause the, the most hype in the media. Um, so you guys, if you're not into it or you want to get more coins, I highly advise that you do that as quickly as possible without hurting yourself or your family or without duty, doing anything uh, too brash. But before too long, the XRP is going to be 100% out of reach or you're going to end up paying the same prices that you would for any other position. Um, in the stock market, and this is not a security. The idea behind XRP, in order to make it something that's life-changing for you, you want to be able to get in when the price is low so that you can maximize the amount of coins that you have moving forward so that when you do have um, increases in the actual value of the coin, it can, suit, it can serve you and your family well to provide for your current and future needs. Um, what I just said is, um, if you want to be rich as fuck, you need to have a decent amount of coins. Everybody's decent amount of coins is different. Some people's decent amount of coins is 500, 1,000 coins. Somebody's decent amount of coins is 100,000 coins. Um, if you got 100,000 coins, best of luck to you, dog. You're going to bring everybody out of the woodwork when this shit fucking rips. Um, but to secure these properly, we'll tie this off because I'm already sitting at 11 minutes and fucking Lou's going to yell at me. Um, make sure that when you guys have your keys and this is not in use, it is off. Turn it off. It doesn't It doesn't have to be charged. Some people are, oh, I like to put it away charged. It doesn't have to be charged. And then I store mine in the box with the cord in case I need it. Or if I'm going to rip and run and I got a dip, um, I've got it in a location uh, next to other documents of importance. Um birth certificate passport so on and so forth some shit you're gonna grab if you're gonna grab and you got you're, you're dipping so um on the inside of this faraday bag that's what you're looking at that's all mesh it's all metal it's grounding out anything so you throw your shit into your faraday bag and then you're going to roll the faraday bag up and it's got a velcro closure this is now secure. If you leave your Faraday bag in an open position where the Velcro is not secured, it is not secured. You will let signal in and out. Um, then with this, that goes into a secure location. I won't tell you where to secure it, but you definitely don't want that bag walk, walking off. So if you, don't ha if you do not have a secure location to store that where only you and select individuals um, have access to it, um, I'm not going to tell you. This is what I do because that's compromising my physical security. Um, even though there's a bunch of <laughs> hot brass and lead on the other end of anybody that tries to fuck with my shit. So, um, but there's many places you can get these, but you're gonna want to get them from um, a known vendor, if not from Ledger themselves. Ledger does offer deals when you get on. You sign up for their live. Um, I would encourage you to go on, download the app, whatever platform you're on, and look at and see what kind of deals they have at the time. Because you typically you can get them for a pretty decent price. And then with the friends referrals and stuff like that, you guys can get them for cheaper. It's technology. And all it is is technology. And like I said, with the seal, make sure the seal's intact. If the card has any keys written on it already, do not use it. Do not connect it. Do not link it. Do not, do not touch it. <laughs> Put it back in the package that came in. Send that shit back. And then make sure you report that security breach and the vendor you got that from directly to Ledger. That is a big fucking deal because that is there. Somebody within that chain is compromising their fucking tech. They will not take kindly to it. Um, so you download um, your your Ledger Live. When you get in there, you're gonna create your account. It's very very easy to do. You can buy and sell your coins directly from Ledger Live. You can have an outside vendor like Uphold where you're more comfortable and you buy your coins on Ledger and then you transact from Ledger or from Uphold to Ledger. Very easy process. You have your transaction ID, it takes three seconds. 
Um, there may be some delays on your transfers due to the uh, length of time your account's been open. So if you do run into that, don't don't uh, don't sweat it. Sometimes there's a waiting period because your account's relatively new. Um, typically, I think I want to say it's 30 or 60 days on new accounts. They make you wait uh, three to five uh, business days before you can transfer uh, stuff in and out. But uh, with Uphold, you can link your, your bank account, bank cards, whatever it may be to make transactions. I'm not telling you guys, hey, throw five grand at it here, 10 grand at it there. Some of you guys may be able to only throw 25 bucks here, $20 here, $40 here, $50 there. I get it. I get it. You guys work for a living. Uphold will allow you to do that. I haven't used any of the vendors that are linked on um, Ledger's site. But they do have vendors available in the selection menu. You have to open up accounts with them and do the similar thing. You got to submit uh, your ID for verification so they know who's who, um, who they're talking to. They can maintain the security of uh, your account, your identity, so on and so forth. And nobody's doing business in uh, your name or being able to fuck with your account. Um, but you're going to want it to be secure. When you do start getting the transactions, when you got your accounts in order, you've been doing it for a while, like some of us have. The transactions from my uphold to my ledger. In order for me to move my coin from my uphold to my ledger, because my nano is already linked to the account, I'm transferring it in from uphold to ledger. It, the transaction is three seconds. I take the ID, it goes into the, the ledger side of my system. It knows it's incoming. And then the transaction is completed. Then I disconnect my keys because now that's stored on my ledger live. Now, in order to move those coin from my ledger live back to uphold or another vendor to either transfer them to another account or to sell them, I have to have those keys, whether it's the handwritten keys that you're going to punch in manually, or it's going to be the Bluetooth connect uh, connection of the uh, the Nano X to your account, which verifies and it make it it, mar it marches you through a verification process of the keys on your your nano x it's not like your nano x is there and somebody can hack your shit like when you're looking at your nano x it will ask you if you are completing the verification process there it is a, a very uh intricate security process where you have to have both the phone with the app up that's security verified facial recognition two-part uh, authentication along with your nano connected verified and then you're using that to verify um that you are completing the transaction as well so it's a very safe process um obviously they've had hiccups here and there but a lot of the shit that i've read on people that have gotten done dirty by um their nano or leisure live it's because they are fucking retarded never ever ever access your ledger account by going into an email in your inbox that says it's from fucking ledger i guarantee you Guaranteed fucking to you, they're fucking fishing. You're gonna get hacked. If you got an email from Ledger and you need to access your account, you fuck close that email out. You go into your secure fucking VPN, pull up Ledger's site, or go into your app, pull it up, and look for the messages in your inbox. There, never ever use their links. Ever ever ever, they will fuck you up. You will you will lose all your coins. Um, but like I said, everybody that I've seen that has gotten fucked has gotten fucked because of their own ignorance. So with that being said, we went over the Faraday bag, how to properly secure your shit in your Faraday bag. That's electronic security. Physical security of it is gonna be your fucking problem, whether it's a safety deposit box, if you trust banks, or a safe location, somewhere you can lock it up, secure it, um, bury it, cover it in concrete, whatever the fuck you may wanna do with your shit. Um, that's completely up to you, but electronic security then you got physical security then you got other security measures you know hot lead brass dogs um <laughs> guns knives nuclear weapons hand grenades whatever whatever, whatever the fuck you guys may, may need wherever you're at uh, we went over security of it and shipping i definitely always want to know where my shit's at throughout the process so when i do order one of these from order i'm expecting that shit in two days or less and i'm watching it the entirety of the way because I want to know that this bitch didn't get fucked with anywhere in the logistical transportation process. So, if you guys have any questions, I will throw a link for the Ledger Nano X. 
down in the comments so i'll also throw a link for the faraday bag that i use there's not a bad one out there but no matter if you get the one that i recommend or one that you guys can find test them out if they don't work fucking send them back it, it it's like wearing a condom with holes in it that shit don't fucking nah fuck all that noise you want to protect yourself so test out your equipment if it doesn't fucking work find something that does um but i'll link those down in the uh the comments here on youtube uh do me a favor share it on uh twitter make sure all your friends see it um share it on other social media uh platforms um if y'all are gonna talk sh there's somebody out there you want to you're gonna talk shit that dude just just fucking save it bro just save it i ain't blogged nobody in a while i'm having a fucking good day i ain't trying to you know i got to go to work in a little bit um no i'm not retired yet uh, but just don't talk shit for those y'all that want to throw some love in the comments cool got you man i love you guys uh, I miss you. Um, Lou and I were on the phone every day, so you guys got questions and shit like that. Um, you can drop them in the comments. You can send an email. Email's a little bit harder for me to track. Um, I, <laughs> I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of market-related stuff. Um, I've been shying away from the market-related stuff because um, I don't want to be the one to tell you, like, hey, you got fucked because I got fucked. Um, just have to understand when you play in a dirty business like that that, you know, bad shit happens to fucking good people um don't take it personal don't let it affect your life yeah it's money it hurts especially those y'all living paycheck to paycheck what you got to do is just take that shit write it off as a loss understand that shit is fucked up in its entirety and fucking find a path to move forward so that you can provide the best possible avenue for you and your family your loved ones your friends make your circle small make that 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 opportunity to create life-changing I'm not, I'm not even going to call it wealth. Life-changing opportunity. Great for you and yours. Because no matter how much money you have, if you're an asshole, you're always going to be an asshole. And you ain't going to do nothing good for society. We're not here for that. We're here to be able to put ourselves in positions where we can live as free men. And do great things for our communities. Serve with one another. Serve each other. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Miss Jessica Signing off.